Hi, I'm Lori Chris, Director of the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. The things we're all feeling right now because of the coronavirus are normal. Stress, anxiety, anger, grief, fear. These are all normal things. This is science, just like how Dr. Acton is talking us through all of the public health science right now. Mental health care is health care. The brain is part of the body. This is temporary. You are resilient. Ohio is resilient. We have grit. Give your family a sense of hope. You've done hard things before, you can do them again. Name your challenges, set goals, and take actions to solve your problems. Some of us were already in a hard spot before this crisis hit, and that might make it even more challenging for you right now. Ask for help when you need it. There's lots of help out there right now. Let's talk for a minute about managing stress with your kids and family. There are tips online for this too. Kids of all ages are taking their cues from adults. From newborns to teens, they feel the energy that we put off uh, all the grownups in their lives and how we're managing the stress. So here are some simple things that we can do to help ourselves so that then we can better help them too. The first is talk to your kids about what's happening. Be honest with them, but be honest with them with information that's right for a kid, not right for adults. And help them know that this event is entirely beyond their control. It's not their fault, but there are things that they can do to help within your home to keep your family safe and to keep the community safe. These would be things like washing their hands, making sure that they're following social distancing, physical distancing guidelines, and helping to keep the house clean as well. Give them the chance to talk about their questions and their feelings and take those questions and feelings seriously. Also monitor and limit media exposure for you and your family. There's a lot of information out there that can be confusing or overwhelming, and we need to take steps to make sure that we're using trusted resources and to know what our kids are reading, what they're watching, and what they're hearing out there in social media and other media outlets. Remember the media is here 24 hours a day, seven days a week for our convenience, not for our consumption. And so step away and use a trusted resource when you do plug in and make sure your kids are doing the same thing. Most of us aren't used to being with our family members or our household 24 seven. And this is hard, it's not always pretty. And so personal space is really important and quiet time is too. Find a way to create that space, that time apart within our homes, both for adults and for kids. Another thing we can do is use our manners to keep our cool. Saying please and thank you makes it really hard to snap at each other in the same way we would without those manners. So it's harder to yell when saying, please clean up this mess, thank you. If I'm acting stressed out, I use a technique called HALT. So it's HALT. If I'm hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, I need to HALT. I need to stop and take care of myself, and then I can go back to interacting with others and helping them too, or just being uh, in others' company. So try this at home. It works for both adults and kids. And then try to maintain a routine for your family, even though it's different from your normal routine and your normal schedule. Kids really do better when they have some structure around them, and most of us as adults do as well. So make every effort to do that. This can be a time for us to slow down and connect with each other at home and with our communities in new and different ways. Maybe we're gonna work on a project that we haven't had time to work on, or we're gonna spend more time with our family rather than uh, running around or being out in community more uh, like we normally are. These are good things. And remember, a smile and a kind word goes a long way inside and outside of the home. So be well, stay well, physically and mentally. Thanks.